bees are absolutely critical to life on Earth, given their essential role in pollinating plants. Albert Einstein is often quoted as saying, if the bees disappear from the surface of the Earth, man would have no more than four years to live. Recently, there's been a decline in bee numbers in North America due to a phenomena known as colony collapse disorder. There's a lot of factors suggested for the cause of this, such as pesticides, pathogens and beekeeping practices, but no single factor has been found with enough consistency to suggest it's the sole cause. In addition to their role in pollination, bees also provide us with wonderful nutritious products. Not only the sweetness of honey, but also the tremendous health benefits offered by bee pollen, propolis and royal jelly. Historically, these bee products have been highly valued within the natural products industry. But it seems many retailers have forgotten just how valuable these foods are for improving our health. Bee pollen comes from the male germ cell of flowering plants. As the honeybee travels from flower to flower, it fertilises the female germ cell. The honeybees enable the reproduction of more than 80% of the world's grains, fruits, vegetables and legumes. The pollen is collected and is brought to the hive, where the bees add enzymes and nectar to the pollen. It's important to recognise that one teaspoon of bee pollen would take a single bee working eight hours a day, one month to gather. Propolis is the resinous substance that's collected by the bees from the leaf buds and the barks of trees, especially poplar and conifer trees. The bees use the propolis along with beeswax to construct the hive. Propolis has antimicrobial activity and it helps the hive to block out viruses, bacteria and other organisms. Royal jelly is a thick, milky substance produced by worker bees to feed the queen. The worker bees mix honey and bee pollen with enzymes in the glands of their throat to produce the royal jelly. The royal jelly is believed to be useful as a nutritional supplement because of the queen bee's superior size, strength, stamina and longevity compared to the other bees. The use of bee products for medicinal purposes is as old as beekeeping itself. Chinese texts more than 2,000 years ago include many mentions of bee products. Hippocrates also wrote about them. Honey was so valued during Roman times that it was often used instead of gold to pay taxes. Of the bee products, propolis was the most valued as a medicinal agent. For example, propolis making bees were depicted on vases from ancient Egypt, where the sign of the bee was often interwoven with the titles of the kings and it was used as a motif on ornaments presented as rewards for valour. The ancient Egyptians looked upon bees and their propolis as a source of eternal health and life. Bee pollen is often referred to as nature's most perfect food. It's especially rich in protein, typically containing 35 to 40 percent. And it's a complete protein. This means it contains all eight essential amino acids. In fact, bee pollen is higher in protein content than any other animal source, and about half of its protein is in the form of free amino acids that are readily used by the body. The bee pollen also provides significant levels of B vitamins, vitamin C, carotenes, minerals, DNA, RNA, numerous flavonoid molecules and plant hormones. Propolis and royal jelly have similar nutritional qualities, but they have considerably higher levels of different biologically active compounds, such as polyphenols. The royal jelly contains approximately 12% protein, 5-6% lipids and 12-15% to carbohydrates. Some of the popular uses for bee pollen are for allergies, for antioxidant support, for energy enhancement, for menopausal symptoms and for support from chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Propolis is used for the common cold, for gastrointestinal infections, for immune enhancement, as a topical anti-inflammatory and for upper respiratory tract infections and for vaginitis. Royal jelly is used for anti-aging effects. 
for enhanced energy and physical and mental functioning, for menopausal symptoms and for elevated cholesterol levels. Little research has been done on bee pollen, probably because financial rewards to justify such an investment are lacking. The research that does exist is limited but impressive. For example, studies in animals show the pollen can promote growth and development, improve semen quality, increase fertility percentage, protect against free radical and oxidative damage, and protect against the effects of harmful radiation, as well as toxic exposure to chemical solvents. In a human study, a pollen extract has also been shown to produce significant improvements in menopausal symptoms, headaches, urinary incontinence, dry vagina and decreased vitality in double-blind studies. The improvements were achieved even though the pollen extract produced no estrogenic effect, an important consideration for women who can't take oestrogen of any kind. The primary use of propolis has been in immune enhancement and for infections. The propolis has inherent antimicrobial activity and this protects the hive from viruses, bacteria and other organisms. The propolis has shown considerable antimicrobial activity in experimental studies. It also stimulates the immune system. Experimental studies have also shown the propolis exerts some antioxidant, liver protecting, anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. A key use of propolis is protection against and shortening the duration of the common cold. A preliminary human study reported that propolis extract reduced the risk of upper respiratory tract infection in children. And in a double blind study of 50 patients with the common cold, the group that were taking the propolis extract became symptom free far more quickly than the placebo group. One of the most popular delivery methods for the propolis is via an oral spray. One double blind study looked at the effects of an oral spray that contained a propolis extract on 122 healthy adults with mild common cold symptoms. The dose of two to four sprays three times per day produced resolution of the symptoms two days earlier in the propolis group. The antimicrobial properties of the propolis might also help to protect against parasitic infections in the gastrointestinal tract and vaginal yeast infections based on preliminary studies. Long revered as an anti-aging and energy restorative traditional medicine, royal jelly consumption has been shown to increase the lifespan of bees and a variety of other species including mice. It showed a myriad of anti-aging effects in experimental studies. For example, the royal jelly has shown particular anti-aging effects on the skin by increasing skin collagen levels in animal studies thereby improving the skin elasticity and strength. And in mouse studies, the long-term administration of royal jelly improved memory and physical performance of the treated animals. It also increased muscle stem cells and prevented age-related muscle loss. In a human study to gauge the impact of royal jelly for improving muscle strength in the elderly nursing home residents, 194 subjects received either a placebo or 1.2 grams per day of royal jelly or 4.8 grams per day of royal jelly for one year. The primary outcome measure was hand grip strength. While the study failed to show improved strength with the royal jelly, what it did show was it slowed down the progression of the decrease in muscle strength in the elderly people. A key area of focus in the clinical use of royal jelly is during and after the menopause. This application was recently assessed in a double-blind clinical trial. The study population consisted of 200 postmenopausal women. Each participant received either a thousand milligrams of royal jelly capsule or a placebo every day for two months. The total menopausal symptom score was significantly reduced in the royal jelly group, but not in the placebo group. The scale consisted of 11 menopause symptoms, including depressive mood, irritability, heart palpitations, hot flashes, anxiety, sexual problems, sleep disorder, bladder problems, muscle dysfunction, and vaginal dryness. In addition to the menopause, 
the royal jelly has shown significant benefits in women with premenstrual syndrome. In one double-blind study in 110 female medical students with PMS, those who were taking a capsule of 1,000 milligrams of royal jelly orally per day throughout two consecutive menstrual cycles showed a drop in the PMS scores from 23 to 11, while the placebo group changed from 21 to 20. The symptoms improved were fatigue, irritability, tension, breast tenderness and bloating. Another area of interest is the cholesterol lowering effect of royal jelly. As of April 2021, 11 human studies have been published, eight of which were double blind. Of the eight double blind studies, four used an oral preparation and an injectable form was used in the other four studies. Results of the detailed analysis of the double blind studies indicate that with oral preparations, despite the shortcomings in design of the study and lack of standardization with commercial preparations used, the royal jelly can decrease the total cholesterol levels by about 14% in patients with moderate to severe elevations in blood cholesterol levels. Some recommendations. Bee pollen is taken 1 to 3 tablespoons per day. Propolis 100 to 500 milligrams three times per day. Royal jelly 250 to 1000 milligrams per day. Allergic reactions are the most common side effect with bee products. Otherwise, no significant side effects are produced. If there's a known allergy to conifer and poplar trees, the use of propolis should be avoided as it can produce a serious allergic reaction. No drug interactions are known. To book a consultation or to learn about herbs, supplements and natural treatments, check out my website.